mission of the ASEAN Committee in The Hague would like to wish you a very happy ASEAN anniversary to all of you. Coincidentally, this year we also celebrate the fifth anniversary of the establishment of the ASEAN Committee in The Hague. The unusual circumstances due to the COVID-19 pandemic should not deter us from commemorating this 53rd anniversary of the ASEAN Day. Such circumstances give more reasons for us to unite and be in solidarity in addressing the challenges before us. The pandemic has not only taken away many lives, but also adversely affected our economies, way of life and societies. Our people have lost their loved ones jobs and ability to travel outside their homes. There has never been a more crucial time than now. Nonetheless, the convening of the 36th ASEAN Summit on 26 June 2020 and of other ASEAN meetings virtually is a testament to our strong and sincere commitment to address the adverse effects of the coronavirus. The theme of ASEAN this year, cohesive and responsive ASEAN, rising above the challenges and sustaining growth. This encapsulates the aspiration of ASEAN to effectively mitigate the adverse consequences of the crisis and facilitate the region's comprehensive recovery. Our ASEAN community of 10 nations will continue to work together in strengthening regional connectivity and sustainable supply chains. Human resource development, migrant workers' rights, and the region's capacity to address future infectious diseases outbreaks through research and health technology development. At the recent 36th summit, the ASEAN leaders adopt a vision statement for a cohesive and responsive ASEAN. The vision statement reflects all member states' strong commitment to upholding ASEAN unity, solidarity, and centrality, while enhancing ASEAN's capacity to embrace the opportunities and effectively address emerging challenges. Again, this backdrop, we as Asian Heads of Mission International are grateful with many achievements attained since the establishment of Asian and the Asian Committee in the Head. And we look forward to achieve many more. Certainly, we are committed to strengthen our relations with the African continent and the Dutch people in many areas of mutual concerns, as well as in realizing the aspiration of our leaders towards a community that is politically cohesive, economically integrated, and socially responsible. And the Netherlands and the Netherlands Ministry of Foreign Affairs, I would like to congratulate ASEAN on its 53rd anniversary and I would like to wish all of you happy ASEAN Day. We look forward to continuing to work closely together with ASEAN. We have many challenges in the world today, not just in the field of global health, the global economy as a whole is in dire weather due to COVID-19. We're facing challenges in the field of sustainable development goals and climate change, international peace and security. And in all these areas, we need to work together to, in the words of the ASEAN Committee, rise above challenges towards sustainable growth. So let's continue to work together. Let's join forces to rise above challenges towards a world of peace, justice, sustainable development and sustainable growth. With these words, I would like to end this message once again on behalf of the Netherlands. Have a wonderful ASEAN Day. We highly appreciate the cooperation with ASEAN and we all care to share. It's the ASEAN way, but it's also the EU way and it's also the Dutch way. So. 
let's join hands, let's continue to work together and let's all continue to care to share. Thank you. Excellencies, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, in the last 50 years, ASEAN has steadily progressed as a regional organization and is well recognized both within Southeast Asia and globally. Building on these achievements, ASEAN remains determined in forging ahead with greater vigor in our community building efforts while continuing to expand our external engagement in promoting regional peace, stability and prosperity. The successful online convening of the 36th ASEAN Summit in June 2020 was a clear sign of ASEAN's unity in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic while keeping in step with our regional integration agenda. Excellencies, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, if there is a lesson from this pandemic, it is that a global crisis requires a solution through international cooperation. No single state can tackle any crisis alone. Excellencies, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, I would like to acknowledge the value contribution of all ASEAN stakeholders, including you, the ASEAN committees in the third countries, for your steadfast involvement in the ASEAN community journey. I would also like to thank all ASEAN dialogue partners, sectoral and development partners, and other external partners for their support in our regional integration process. Thank you. Happy 53 ASEAN Day. Let us celebrate this momentous day. Happy ASEAN Day!